the band with the plan. The band that can. Now, folks, I don't know how much you remember about the 2020 election season, but last summer, the Democratic National Convention was supposed to take place in the great city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. However, due to the pandemic, the DNC went entirely virtual at the last minute. So we here at The Late Show put together a virtual tour of Milwaukee with jokes about drinking virtual beer and going to a virtual tailgate. Unfortunately, Milwaukee did not find it even virtually funny. <laughs> I felt terrible about it, so I went on the air and issued a sincere apology where I took full responsibility by blaming it all on my writer, Gabe, <laughs> who wrote all the jokes about Milwaukee that they didn't like. And this is how nice Milwaukeeans are. The Milwaukee Brewers invited me to attend a game as soon as they were back in the stadium, and I said I would love to on one condition. My only condition, I insist I get to run in one of your sausage races. Oh. Well, I'm happy to say that the Brewers met my demand, and I recently traveled to Milwaukee to apologize to the city in person. Beautiful Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Cream City, the Big Cheesy. Home to the champion Milwaukee Bucks and the division champ Brewers, who had invited me to take part in their historic sausage race. I was grateful for the opportunity to address the crowd and make peace with the wonderful people of Milwaukee after the thoughtless jokes I had made about their city. Please join the Brewers in welcoming the host of The Late Show, Stephen Colbert. Winning them over wasn't going to be easy. Fortunately, I had a plan. I knew if I was going to apologize to Milwaukee, I needed to bring some beer. So I started my day at Miller Brewing, where I met with head brewmaster Troy Ryswick to brew my very own apology beer. So um, my goal is to make a beer good enough that the people of Milwaukee forgive me. Okay. Can we create a beer that erases regrets instead of causing them? I would think we make a balanced beer. Balanced beer, okay. Yeah, so we would have to um, balance some of the components with happy yeast. How do you make yeast happy? Well, you feed it the right food, mm -hmm. and you treat it right. Does your yeast ever get an infection? Well, that's the bacteria. Yeah, there's a little bit of that, so we got to watch out for that. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. cranberry would, juice. Yeah. <laughs> Troy, let's make some beer. Let's go do it. All right. All right. After donning some literal beer goggles, the first step was to dump the hops in the kettle. Wow. There you go. Excellent. Great. Now, before you close it, yeah. Troy, could I just drop one single tear in there so the people of Milwaukee know that I'm really sorry? All right, one All tear. Right. Say something mean to me that make me cry. <laughs> just say something. Just say something mean. Just say something mean. You know. I never liked your show. Jesus! <laughs> no, no. Wow! <laughs> wow! Through the magic of TV, the distillation process was over in seconds, and my amber beer was ready. And this is it. This is the Apology Amber? This is the Apology Amber. Wow. I gave a sample like this once, and my doctor said I was dehydrated. Yeah, you have to drink water. Two apologies. Two apologies. Is Miller time? Let's go. With my apology ambers in hand, it was time to head over to American Family Field. Before I suited up for the big race, I knew I had to apologize the Milwaukee way with a tailgate party. All right, who's ready to see me? Gravel!
apology, Amber. So sorry. Oh, okay. Dad, I don't know what I was thinking. We <laughs> forgive hey. you. Thanks. Do you have any advice on how to win this race? Run like you're a toddler and you know it. <laughs> Does that make sense? I have the same muscle mass. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to be speaking to the crowd tonight. What should I say to win over to the people of Milwaukee? I'm going to be apologizing in bucks speech. And bucks, bucks and six. six. That's very bucks important. Bucks and six? Yeah, yeah. very what important. What about Cubby's suck? Yeah, yeah that's a winner too. Oh, oh, oh. 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 one more. Oh. 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 First try! First try! <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, Stephen Colbert here, and I want to let you know that I'm responsible for things I say. My writers are responsible for what those words mean. I didn't write any of the jokes that upset you. My writer Gabe Gromley wrote those jokes. <laughs> Gabe, are you from Wisconsin? I'm from Wisconsin. Shame, 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 shame. Don't punish me. Punish him. Would you please tell the people what your name is? Dan Gronley. And what is your relationship to the writer? He's my son. <laughs> oh. 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 Did you ever play ball? I did. Okay. Oh, oh, Southpaw. There you go. Here you go. Good luck, okay? Remember, he can't be allowed to get away with this. Gabe had learned my lesson, and I had learned people enjoy free beer. But to truly win them over, it was time for me to win a sausage race. How hard could that be? Very. When we return, and I don't want to get too technical here, I dress up like a hot dog and run around a baseball field. <laughs> Stick around.